Well, we've modeled a lot of parts for the office chair. Let's put them together in an assembly right now. From the Alibre home screen, instead of selecting a new part, I'll choose new assembly, or in other words, combine multiple parts into a finished design. As the window opens, we are greeted with a window that asks us what we wish to import into our assembly. I'll navigate to my chair base, and there's the base that we made earlier on. I can hover right over my origin, just like it was in the Boolean environment, and click to make sure that my base is right on the origin as I modeled it. From here, like in the previous videos, I'll anchor my base so that I know that I can't move it off of where I want it. I want to insert another part now. Let's insert the riser that we were working on. I'll go to Insert Design right here. And I can navigate to my riser file. And I can click one time and finish to insert the riser. Now, just like in the Boolean environment, I want to establish a bunch of relationships to make sure that the parts are exactly the way that I want them. I'll first go to Constraint here, choose my axis, and then choose this round face that I know I want the axis to be in the center of. And it moves exactly to where I want it. Now I can move this up and down quite freely. And so to constrain this, I'll say that I want these faces to be coincident. Just like that. Next, I can turn this freely and perhaps I want this facing one direction. What I'll do is select this plane or this face rather, and this plane. And you can see that I have the coincident constraint, which I don't want. It doesn't work quite right. Those can't be coincident, and these can't be concentric at the same time. So I'll change this to angle, and I want an angle of zero degrees. And that's how I can keep these parallel. Next, I'll probably want to insert my seat that I modeled, and so we'll say Insert Design, and I'll navigate to the seat. Now when it comes to the seat, I know that I want this hole to be lined up, so I'll, I'll, I'll select this hole, I'll select Constraint, and then I'll select this hole, right, where I want them to go. And then I'll say coaxial and apply that. Next, I can select this hole and this hole, which is exactly how I want to line those up. After a quick inspection, I can see that our holes line up properly, and so this was dimensioned correctly. And finally, I can take something like this edge, which follows a planar path and this plane here, and make sure that these are coincident and apply that. So we've been able to insert a few parts already. Next, I think I'd like to insert the uh, back of my chair. So I can go to Insert Design, navigate over to my seat back, and click once to place it. Next, I have a planar surface right here, and I would sure like to insert a constraint that keeps my back oriented relative to this flat face. So what I'll do is click this and say I want a zero degree angle, and apply that. And I can almost click and drag it where I'd like. Now you'll notice sometimes when you move your view, things don't move as intended. So I recommend using the view cube and moving things exactly where you want to uh, see them in that view, and then choosing another view and moving them in the other way. And that way we can isolate the way that we move our part so that it ends up exactly where we want it. This is starting to look pretty good. Maybe I'll move it up a little bit more. Lastly, let's insert our arms. We're going to say Insert Design. And then I'll insert an arm that we'd like to have. Now you can see the holes where my bolt head is meant to go. So I know that this is oriented right. We'll just have to line it up using our constraints. I'll insert a constraint and say I want that face 
on that face. We're going to choose coincident, of course. And then I'll say I want this hole aligned with this hole. And then we can still move this around up and down. So I'll say that I want this hole aligned with this hole. And as long as we've dimensioned our holes correctly, we can use the holes to align. Next, we'll need to make a mirror image of our office chair arm, or we can just flip it around if we made it symmetric. But I'll go with mirror component. And this is how we mirror a component in a Libre for an assembly. We can make a different handed version. So if I have a left shoe, I can use this mirror to make a right handed version of a shoe. I choose my mirror plane, which I know I want my YZ plane running through the middle of my part. We'll choose this part to pattern. And as you can tell, we have a mirrored part with the holes on the right side, just like that. So I simply say, okay. And now our office chair has two arms. And that is the basic assembly of the office chair. Tune in for the next video. We're going to cover even more content.